Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. While you're here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Let's get into it because you guys might be making her my favorite villain, and that's Sunny Minx. But before we get into Sunny Minx, have you guys noticed that Mel haven't been posting? Watch my latest upload about Mel, no free promo or use for promo. You know it's serious when Mel's baby mama is sparking up drama with the cancer hunter, the least relevant person on the show. And it looks like they're gonna have to be fighting for their life this season, baby, because Sunny ain't playing with Dusty Dan, and I'm here for it. Sunny made a post over on her instagram and i want us to talk about it because it's good tea i think sunny gonna be giving us good tea and if y'all not gonna be watching the show i'm gonna be keeping y'all up to date on what's going on baby because one based on the trailer it's a lot of debunking i'm finna have to do but also i think this is the season of male's vindication Last year was the revelation. Now this is the vindication. And Mel would be vindicated. I think it's the irony of Dusty Dan trying to create a problem with Sonny. And in the same breath, allowing Mel's baby mama to make comments about her son looking just like him. Knowing that she's been very chummy with Mel's baby mama and Mel even said that Dusty Dan was calling him at all crazy hours of the night last season on the reunion did you guys forget that or not last season but the season before last season so season five on the reunion before carlos thanked her for her services so whatever the nonsense is that she's trying to keep up on the show when it comes to sunny and moses need to be put to rest and y'all check out my members only because i really gave a honest deep thorough opinion of everybody in this season in the trailer and a little bit of a roast but I can't empathize with Dusty Dan because in one breath you want to make it seem like a person should have girl code when you the same person that have aligned yourself with a man that's taken your ex-friend to court or have taken your ex-friend to court for full custody of her children and try to release revenge pee on her so if you weren't the type of woman that would not align yourself with him because he was taking her to court for full custody of her kids what would make you want to align yourself with him while he's trying to release revenge pee so i don't understand dusty dan's standpoint or why she feel like people supposed to resonate with her but i'm gonna be debunking the shit out of her all season clearly sunny minx made a post over on instagram and she says here's the meat and potatoes never been a side bitch period standing on straight business all season long catch us on love and marriage huntsville on own tv network you don't miss this season or I guess you want to say you don't want to miss this season. And Sonny, you better be standing on business because I don't believe you were a side chick, but I'm going to be real with you. I don't necessarily think Moses is a good dude, not a dude to be competing for. But like I said in my members only, if he willing to change his entire self for you then that's just what it is but if he pans out being a dusty and ends up trying to use you i hope you the type of woman that'll just leave him and not stay with him just for the sake of marriage and i really hope he don't play you and have you looking stupid sonny because i do believe you can do better but i'm ready for you and moses to really break down the story because dusty dan is a fraud and she's a liar and she doesn't make any sense and one breath she has a sit down with moses and she's saying that he named his business after the son or the kid that they were supposed to have together. So ho, you was on the side for 15 years per Dusty Dan's mouth. And are you meaning to tell me? And then she said Law's name. And then Moses corrected her and said the name of his business. And then she said, yeah. I'm just trying to understand what is it that you're trying to keep up because you had had a husband, ho. Are you forgetting that you were just in court with your ex-husband dealing with, don't you owe Mercedes, ho? Don't you owe Mercedes some money, ho? And you sitting up here talking about this man done named his business 
girl, you look a mess. You should have kept that in a vote, honestly. But I will say men be doing shysty ass weird shit like that. Y'all should follow my members only so y'all can know what I'm talking about. But men definitely do shysty weird stuff. But at the end of the day, if he is that type of person, like you claim Dusty Dan, why is it that you would get on the show and 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 basically make it seem as though you're trying to fight for his love? He's married. He married somebody over you. You should take that and let it be what it is. Don't even give him the satisfaction of knowing that you hurt by it or feel some type of way about it. But I'm just trying to understand why the hell you named LeBaric's son after your side dude. Ho, because is that what you admitting to on national television, ho, that you was married to a man and you had a baby with a man and you named your, your, your baby the name that you talked about naming a baby with your side dude, girl? Because I, I, I don't know what you think you hitting on, but you're not giving big dick energy, baby. You giving very much, very much beggar energy. You giving big B energy, big begging ass, ho ass energy. And Sonny is saying she wasn't your friend. And if your issue, and she also saying that you never confided in her and with you and Moses. So she didn't really know what was going on. So I also want to say if your issue with her is the fact that you feel like it's not girl code for her to go and find a relationship with him because y'all had work together. Y'all gonna have to go to my members only so y'all can catch my my real breakdown because it's really deep because it's so many levels to what's going on with with Sunny and Dusty Dan. It's not necessarily that I'm on Sunny's side, but I am on Sunny's side because Sunny is entertaining. <laughs> but I'm also on Sunny's side because she's standing in her truth and she don't give a damn what nobody say about it. And I like that. I don't know. Those type of people, I just like. People that stand in their truth. They don't have nothing to hide. They open, they transparent about their story. So the misconception is basically going to be her word over my word. And really, it's about proof. Whichever one of their ass can prove it. And Sunny, realistically, girl, just prove it. Just prove it at the reunion. And that's how you really earn your spot. And you better come back on the show as a cast member next season, if there is a next season. Because I don't know. The people is pissed. But they might be watching. I'm entertained. And I hope you don't let Nostradamus back you in a corner because her and Dusty Dan might try to gang up on you. There are going to be some people that think that because you guys worked in close proximity that you're wrong for dating him. And I'm just going to say, based on Dusty Dan and the way she lives her life, it wouldn't be a problem to her. But I'm going to be real. If I've worked with somebody... And I was dating a dude and me and that dude just fell out. And then I found out a girl that I worked with or worked in close proximity to is dating that same dude. I don't necessarily know if I'm a care unless me and that person were really good friends and I confided in that person. But I wouldn't necessarily care to go on a show. I would care enough to whoop her ass probably and keep it moving. But then again, it depends on what type of person he was. If I really don't care about the dude and he is a scammer and he tried to use me, I wouldn't even want people to know that I was associated with him in that way. You get what I'm saying? So if she decided to date him and he was a manipulator or he was trying to use me or he was an opportunist, then I would literally be the type, I'm, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm the type of person I would be gassing their relationship up. Like, yeah, girl, go for it, boo. Get him, boo, because I know he ain't shit. And I think it's laughable and you can have my leftovers, but I'm a bad bitch and I get plenty. So that's how I would come, right? But like I said, Dusty Dan is too close and chummy with Mills' baby mama. So she not giving the vibes like she give plenty, right? She got married and that man <laughs> divorced her in 3.5 seconds. And while we speaking about the man that divorced her in 3.5 seconds with his sassy motherfucking ass thinking he was going to shade me on Instagram, you starting to give the vibes based on you responding to me in the way that you responded to me that you had a baby with Dusty Dan, but you're not really that into women, baby. I don't know. And I know that's probably messed up to say, but it's giving the vibes. And with that being said, I would say to Dusty Dan, you worried about the wrong shit, love, because it looked like you probably done shared something with somebody that you probably don't want that. 
You probably look, you know what I'm saying? In about five, seven years, he might be free. And that's an attachment. You might, look, you worried about the wrong shit, Dusty Dan. You need to be worried about that courtroom, the Mercedes Benz, and your ex-husband exposing himself. And wait, one more thing. I just want to say this. You walking around here talking about big dick energy. Did you steal that shit from Liberic? Did y'all swap? But I don't know. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. What's been going on? Living life, you know, dating. Yeah. That all look so cute. Look just like it's Uncle Martell. And LaBear, while you worried about what grade of hair I got, you need to be worried about why your ex-friend over there with your ex-wife talking about your son look just like him. I'm gonna do a video on this, but I want y'all to look at Libido the Mule's jacket and y'all tell me what jacket that is in close proximity to because it looks like to me Libido the Mule like to get her fashion sense from the women that male's baby mama like to stick his rope in, whether that's male with a Jay Bowling knockoff or his mistress rusted tooth armadillo pouch gator mouth baby mammy and that deplorable alibaba ass flower jacket i don't know if you thought because you got it in a different color nobody was gonna notice that you were admiring yet again another woman that mills baby mama stick his rope in but i see you i see you libido and it don't look good on you right. i don't know what this me does I'm also glad Mel is taking the approach of laughing at the fact that Dusty Dan is trying to talk about girl code. Like, girl, shut the fuck up. You get what you put out. And you put out not girl code energy. So don't nobody got to be loyal to you. And I don't put nothing past people. One of my producers married Destiny's man. What I would like to do is bring Sunny and Moby. And this was a part of the live show that I thought was so funny. This was actually the part of the live show that made me like Sunny so much. I just like people that stand on business. Why Carlos brought her out and everybody was booing, as y'all can probably hear, okay? And she was just not giving a fuck. She was like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, she was just really not, she didn't give a fuck that y'all was booing her. I thought that was so funny. She is the perfect villain. She'll eat it up. You guys are friends, right? I would say that we were too close for this. How you no, ho. See, I'm finna debunk your ass. You said in that interview that y'all was friends and that you used to bring her around like y'all was real close friends. That's what your ass said, ho. Don't change it to too close for this now that your ass filming. You want to have a career in this industry and you make moves like that. I was talking to this but she didn't really talk to me about Moses. This right here is what y'all really need to wait to get cleared up. We've seen Dusty Dan lie and manipulate and make certain stories out to be more than what they really were. And that's what I think she is doing with this Sunny Mink situation. And it's easy for people to ride with it because people don't like competitive male identified women. And that's what Dusty Dan is going to attempt to paint her out to be. I don't know if she is or not, but what I do know is Dusty Dan is the exact bitch that she trying to t paint Sonny to be. You were on the pre I was with someone. Don't worry about it, Sonny. Letitia Damna choked on her tongue trying to get that damn word out. And girl, don't let them use you and be all up in your business. They not on your team, Sonny. Okay, I look, I don't know y'all behind the scene dynamics, but they not on your team, boo. They on Dusty Dan's team. They gonna sit in your face, film with you because they don't want to tell their business or talk about their tea. So they like to sit in front of people's face and get all of their tea and then go talk shit about them in other scenes and then railroad them and throw them under the bus. If you ever go through something, they're not going to be there for you, boo. Do not look, bitch. You probably know, but then you probably don't know. I don't know, girl, but... I don't know. How about that? I don't know. That's what I was told. You was pursuing a relationship. I wasn't pursuing anything. It is incredible. Do you have to call and ask for permission though to date someone's ex? Business producer. I'm going to tell all you hoes right now. And this ain't going to ever happen. But if me and Tag Guy was to ever get a divorce, you bitches better not ever even think that you're going to be aligning yourself with my ex-husband who I'm telling you that right now. One thing about it and two things for sure.
Okay. Tell him, baby. Thanks. <laughs> Ho. <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, I don't get too about it. You don't go date your friends. It's you turn See, Sonny, already she done went and took your tea to her husband because she a male-identified hoe. She want to go talk shit about other women because she want to feel superior to other women, right? She need her husband to validate her against other women. So you shouldn't even sat down and had a conversation with her, but I understand, right? Because you're doing it for camera time. But, Sonny, let me tell you something. What you need to tell that hoe is what's more wrong, dating a hoe ex-boyfriend who I wasn't that close to or a hoe like you supporting your husband for paying for his friend's mistress's car. Bring that up, Sonny. Come on, Sonny, I'm telling you, if you bring that shit up, Sonny, you 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 have a shit ton of people support you. Bring up all the shit that the Melamitas be wanting to bring up when they start talking about your teeth. Bring up all the shit that the Melamitas talk about on the internet, okay? I'm telling you. You're going to get a shit ton of fans just by way in which you seeing everything that people want the people to be seeing, but ain't nobody seeing. All you got to do is ask that hoe, look, hoe, you sitting up here and you telling your husband shit about, oh, it's not good friends to do this, that, and the third when you just sat up in my face and I just told you I ain't know that hoe like that. Worry about you and you not being a good friend, bitch, because you knew your husband was buying your friend ex-husband mistress's cause and you knew your husband was supporting your friend ex-husband mistresses so well, you heard about the wrong shit because you ain't got no girl code either ho that's what you tell us honey tell them hoes that trying to stab me in my back like this you knew what she had going on I from the me, 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 me and her you love by me name your business after my baby law Justice. Justice was the baby's name that we were going to have dusty dan when the fuck was you gonna have a baby i'm trying to understand what's going on I'm trying to understand I, what's going on. When was you going to have a baby? Don't you already got a baby named Law? So if he was going, if he named his business after your baby and then you scream Law and then he got to correct you. Can somebody please get in the comment section and tell me what it is that she's getting at? You got a son named Law. Are you trying to say that you had discussed having a baby with him prior to you marrying LaBeric and having a baby with him? And you name your baby with your new husband by the name in which you discussed with your boyfriend or, or you as his mistress. And then you have a divorce. Like, what are you, what the fuck are you saying, Dusty Dan? I don't know. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about all this. And with that being said, I got to go. Sonny, you should take my advice. Okay. Now I know it's a lot of them hoes over there that don't like me. But you should really take my advice because them other hoes didn't take my advice and they probably thinking they living it up, but people really don't like them. That whole Nostradamus is crying every three business days about her not being fan favorite. And I'm telling you, you will be fan favorite villain if you start sticking it to their ass if they play with you in your business, I'm telling you. And then on top of that, don't be scared to do interviews like them other hoes. If people want to talk to you about things that you don't necessarily want to talk about, just get in there and do the interview. Like if you don't, if you don't want to do interviews with certain content creators because they mellow meters and shit like that, and you don't know how they're going to take you. I don't know. That's a bad start. That's a bad start. Cause all mellow meters really like is transparency and not fake shit. That's it. That's all. I think you should talk to as many bloggers as you possibly can and get your side of the story out there, create relationships with all of the bloggers, get ahead of the game in the way that them hoes can't because they done kind of fucked up their relationship blogger tie. They only go to bloggers that talk and lie about what it is that they're doing. And you don't necessarily have to like the bloggers or agree with their talking points, but if you get up in there and you state your case and you stand firm on your shit and it's all respectful no matter who you go to, people going to really like you, okay? Look how many interviews Mel did with content creators that didn't even really like her. I'm just saying, like, you really, you really got it because one thing that the other people don't got is they are not willing to do interviews with a fat majority of content creators because they don't like the way that we talk and they don't like the fan base and they don't like the fact that we or some of us considers ourselves to be metal meters. 
And just because there are bloggers that are millimeters does not mean that they cannot be neutral when it comes to certain situations. And I'm going to tell you right now, Sonny, you can get ahead of the game. You, as long as you don't really come up with no fake beefs with mail, I'm telling you, girl, you're going you, you gonna to be in there. Good luck. Were you with me on the IG? Because you said she never confided in me about this man. She's taking this picture as though I was plotting on her man. When I kept it all the way professional, it's because you get what you put out. We got side chicks, side dudes, side chicks, and side chicks. I would never side chick, baby. I'm the wife.